Good evening, gentlemen, for the WBC Championship. We're good here. You got your instructions in the dressing room? Touch them up and come out the bell. You have the taste of defeat. You're going to taste it. He's a devoted body puncher. And unlike some fighters, Emmanuel, he will throw in combination to the body. I, mean, I look at his boxing techniques, his jab. His, his, sometimes I think he holds his hands a little too wide where you can catch it between the gloves. But other than that, fight. And when you look at that body, I think they've made a very intelligent decision as a being a middleweight. Canelo. Canelo. Incidentally, the word means cinnamon. Uh, Gomez looks like he has a real plan. We'll see whether it works. Right, and often, and evidently, wasn't big purses. And also, uh, like he controls the distance. And he does a variety of things. He'll step back on a punch. Here. But one of the flaws some people see in him is that he really doesn't use the jab. Emmanuel, the answer is 38 fights already. 37, 0, and 1 at age 20. Not at all unusual for Mexican fighters to turn professional. Canelo starts to get the jab going. And down goes Alfonso Gomez on a left hook. Short. Quick, short left hook. Great punch. So much of the plans of mice and men. Use your jab. Use your jab. You step back, jab. Don't Here you see a very accurate punch coming from Canelo. Just, just accuracy and balance, and his, his head will be when he's throwing a punch. Exactly. Gomez walked right into that punch. Gomez didn't do anything. Gomez wrong. brought in a plan, but now he's down two points. In his corner, saying, "Be patient, stick with it." Nothing happened. That sounded to me like, "Don't abandon the plan." For the son of a punch. That's what happened to Roy Jones the night that Antonio Tarver knocked the him punch off. that Tarver knocked. He started off with a looping left hand, and Roy put his hand to block it in some kind of way. Perfect. Yeah, yeah but again, Gomez seems to be winning the first half of the round. Yeah. Oh, jab than does Alvarez. There's one of those comments. Again. With a good body punch, is going to end up going right on the top of the cup. You think that was deliberate? Because because it should have been pointed out to the referee. Fake him straight okay, shots. Okay. And if he comes okay, in, okay, just okay. give your guard up. Perez's punches were wandering to the outside yeah, down to the at the end of round one. Yeah, it, it was almost a freak knockdown, a legitimate real one. Thinking of the grinning and the smiling and the slapping hands with fans as he came into the ring, I wonder if he has a cold focus tonight. Now, an undersized fighter who's like Jose Cotto, a natural 140-pounder, who was fighting Alvarez. This is a guy whose fights are going to be rough. Yes, but right now he's got a lot of good defensive skills, but I'm surprised that Gobi is at the stage. I'll be honest, he's fighting a much better fight than I. And I think right now, by the timing, and the activity of a hand by Gomez. One thing is volume of punches is too low, meaning uh, uh, Alvarez. Okay. He likes Cortez as a referee and is surely pleased with his assignment. Harold, how do you have it so far? He did get knocked down, but he did get knocked down, so Canelo gets a 10-8 round. Rounds two and three, uh, Canelo Alvarez just do well to the body. Larry, to answer your question about the cup, the inspector in the dressing room is supposed to make sure that the fight is cup, the top of the cup is even uppercuts in this round. Looks as though he's decided that he can get up the middle by coming up and under Good against Gomez. to sustain a good combination of punches. But on the other side. More active fighter, Gomez throwing more punches. Gomez, Gomez landing there. at a reasonable enough rate. Alvarez clearly believes he's the stronger fighter as he stands against the ropes and invites him. Likely he can get that done. But Gomez is still not a puncher, so I mean, I think he feels very comfortable in this fight. I'm sure he's not worried at all about Gomez's punching power. The question is, why isn't Alvarez throwing? Now he begins to let his hands go a little bit. If he doesn't think there's a good a, uppercut. He's at least going on, and he has a sense of urgency right now that shows that he's throwing with abandon when he lets that uppercut go, particularly. 
But some of these are wide shots, winging punches, and Gomez is starting the fight they might have hoped for. And you can see that despite the Alvarez fact, ended the first round by knocking Gomez down, Harold Letterman's begun following Canelo Alvarez that we've ever seen him lose three rounds in a row on any scorecard. Totally well, abandoned his jab. Meanwhile, Gomez has put together the best and most comprehensive plan I've ever seen from him. He's landed some clean right hands. Crowd trying to lift Canelo back in the forefront of the fight. Gomez still putting... That's what he's really rushing in. Which he is. Crazy he is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alvarez has been very sporadic with his jab, man. That's what I wanted to say, Jim. That was the first time I saw a jab in about three rounds. If he would jab more than time, he's having a tough fight with Gomez. Gomez may be winning this fight. Now Alvarez begins to... Up in the belt. Reminiscent of round one as Canelo... That could be landed hard. more hard punches. How are you feeling? Use your jab, you're catching here. Throw the jab, throw the jab, throw the jab, jab. Gomez in the white, this the last preliminary bout before our main event of this pay-per-view. Tell a little bit as he lands his jab, Alvarez falls short with his twice in a row. Another short jab for Alvarez, but now he connects. Gomez fighting a gutsy, smart fight. Yes, I'm very surprised the fact that he is really, for the most part, setting the tempo. Good right hand, a big right cross across the top. Gomez is badly hurt. Canelo's got a chance to finish, and the referee's going to stop it right away. Too quick the stoppage, but that was too quick. Agreed. Town guy, even if he's not from that hometown. <laughs> In boxing, the hometown. Myself, I mean, I could go on and on, but I think you said it already last. Like